Dream Theater is working on their next album, but keyboard player for the band Jordan Rudis is also working on a few side projects, and you can help. Rudis has teamed with Pledge Music for two upcoming albums. One is a solo piano effort, and the other is the ambitious explorations for keyboard and orchestra. Pledge Music works similarly to Kickstarter, where fans can contribute to help their favorite artists support themselves while making music. Rudis said he got turned on to Pledge Music through Tony Levin, who is known for his work with King Crimson and Peter Gabriel, and was also a bandmate. I'm somebody that keeps my eye kind of on the latest technology and the latest activities of the music business. And uh, the Pledge Music thing really kind of caught my eye. First, of course, it was like a Kickstarter that were doing things like that for, for businesses. And then I saw musicians kind of like starting to put their projects, you know, in that format. And then I had some friends um, that told me about Pledge Music. Actually, Tony Levin, uh, who I used to play with in Liquid Tension Experiment, mentioned it to me. He thought it was really cool. He liked the people. You know, he was excited about it. So I kind of looked at it and went, ah, that's interesting. And I kept my eye there for a while. And at the same time, I was kind of formulating some really, I thought, interesting ideas about what I wanted to do creatively. And as everything developed, I was thinking, man, this is such an unusual project. I have to find a way to release this and, and completely kind of keep it under my creative control and make it happen. While there are supporters, there are also detractors who just don't get it. You know, a lot of people don't understand the pledge music thing, especially they don't understand it for somebody like me that they say, oh, Jordan Rudis, he's like a, a really famous, well-known musician. What does he need to reach out and get money from the fans for? It doesn't make any sense. Well, let me explain it this way. You know, the world is changing. There's not many record companies around anymore. There really, there's not a lot of opportunities to do that, especially if you're going to do something really creative and outside the box. So, and fans really enjoy, it seems, being part of an experience. And for somebody like myself who enjoys creating that experience and interacting, it starts to become something that's very appealing and starts to make a lot of sense. So I feel like, you know, although there's been some known um, artists using like Pledge and Kickstarter, I feel like I'm also pushing a little bit in that direction by saying, hey, you know, I am who I am and I believe in this format. I think it can really work. It's going to be fun for me. I think it'll be great for the fans. And obviously there's a little bit of resistance too from people who, who go, well, you know, what, what's that all about? You know, I don't, I don't get that. I don't think you should be doing that. But to that I say, you know, think about it a little bit more. Rudis talks about how Pledge Music helps to fund individual creative endeavors in an environment where record company support for non-household musicians is waning. Plus, there are some pretty good perks for fans who help him reach his goal. You know, there aren't a lot of record companies around anymore. The ones that are there are kind of, uh, you know, a lot of them are crumbling. Dream Theater happens to be in an amazing spot where we have a great record company. We're very grateful for that. But that's a very rare you know, experience. So it's, it is a new world, which it's changing. You know, for somebody who wants to check it out, you can go on to, you know, Pledge Music to Jordan Rudis, and you can see there's a whole bunch of, uh, I think, very cool, you know, kind of awards that you can get, everything from uh, having a Skype conversation with me to, uh, you know, you could, you could get a private concert in your house if you'd like. That's possible, too. Um, and it's all fun stuff, so I encourage people to go check it out. Rudis, who joined Dream Theater later in its career, said that pledge music is important also because it prevents record company improprieties, and he noted that he hasn't been compensated by some record companies he's worked with in the past, and he can't make money from them because they own his masters. He's hoping that the new models led by pledge music will prevent those situations in the future. We'll have more on Jordan's projects for pledge music and the latest from Dream Theater in the coming days.